Hello and welcome. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Devin Booth, and you're back with another Mazda guide. This week we're at Sakuba. Uh, we're again, of course, in the Mazda, doing the Rookie Mazda series. If you guys don't have iRacing, but you're looking to get into it, that's what these guys are for. Uh, when you subscribe to iRacing, you get the free Mazda, you get the free tracks, and this is the series that you can run for free on the road end. So we do these guides to help you get started and uh, make sure that you have a, a chance to, to do really well and uh, get some pace up. Um, at the same time, I also want to mention on this one a couple of other things, because we did a couple of races, as we normally do when practicing for these guides, uh, and we learned a couple of spots that you might have trouble from the other drivers, uh, and spots that you might want to watch out for yourself, so you're not causing trouble for other drivers, because nobody wants to be a part of that. Uh, so just to point them out as we're doing our uh, intro here, we'll go through and uh, mention them. Now, but before we do that, uh, don't forget, guys, but just go smash on the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, share this video on, like, you know, the Facebooks and the YouTubes and all that kind of stuff. Without any, any of the bros, the discords and that kind of things that you guys have to help support what we're doing here and help other people uh, get a little bit more confident and hopefully a little bit cleaner in the Mazda. Uh, now, talking about the corners that we have trouble with. Uh, obviously, T1, it's a hairpin, so pretty much every, every hairpin you have to watch out for dives for. Uh, but I wanted to point out this corner here. The way that the dirt is on the side here and the way that you're breaking late for this corner, you got really got to watch your inside. I've been plowed into, um, I saw lots of other people plowed into cars on the side of the road. So really, really careful there. Uh, this kink is pretty okay, but people are going to go wide on the cold tires most likely. So watch for people spinning and coming back on the track when you're on the cold tires for the first few laps. Uh, again, you have another hairpin here, so watch out for dives. And then on the last corner, you're going to see as we come out, you have lots of track and there's lots of track out. You have to watch, depending on whether you're on the inside or the outside of another car, how that car is approaching you. Uh, I found people were squeezing me from the outside when I was on the inside. I found people were pushing out early when they were on the when I was on the outside and they were on the inside. So just, you know, be careful with that one. Um, the curb there can throw you around, that kind of thing. Just be aware of it when you're in your race. You wouldn't want to ruin somebody else's race. And you don't want to get ruined because of something you know you could have avoided. So just, uh, you know, watch out for those things. Uh, now we can go ahead and get started with the guide. Um, I will jump into an in-car first. And then afterwards, I'll leave you with the chase cam as usual. All right, with the in-car, coming out of the last corner, use all of the track and stay to the left, watching for the hill. As soon as you get onto it, get down on the brakes, turning in, watching for your apex in the rest of the way. Patient on the throttle. Roll onto it. Don't just stab it. Make sure you've got traction for your exit, but get on as early as possible. Watch for your apex here on the left and right. Don't catch it too hard. The dirt can spin you. Getting on the brakes as soon as you're on the straight line. Down second gear. Make sure you catch a lot of apex on this turn here. Patient on the throttle, watching for your exit. Again, roll on the throttle for the exit. Third gear, I'm lifting here. You can use a brush on the brake. Make sure you're getting on throttle as early as possible using all of the track. Get up into fourth gear as early as you need to. Sometimes I have to get on to worry about a spin at the crest of the hill. Down as soon as you're into the straight line onto your brakes. Again, you can take this corner two ways. So you can take it like I just did there where you take a normal apex through the hairpin. Be easy on it just like the other corners. Patience is key. Or you can take a late apex if you want to over under somebody or if you want to get more speed for the straight line on quality. Here you're watching for the little break in the fence there. There and left on the left to get onto the brakes down to third gear try to keep it up in the yellow lights if you can get as fast as you can through that corner and onto the throttle again watching for it to spin out roll onto it don't just stab it up into fourth gear and left of the side of the track prepared to come into t1 and that's it for this week at Tsukuba in the Mazda. Hopefully that guide helps you out. I did my best to cover as much as possible. If you have any questions, as always, don't forget to comment down below. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. We guys, we appreciate all the support that you give and it goes a long way to helping Sean continue doing what he's doing. He's got a wealth of knowledge and we want to make sure the channel continues to succeed and grow as we've been doing slowly but surely all of this time. Uh, once again, guys, thank you, thank you so much. I'm Bob Bob Boothie. This is The Sim Pit, and we'll see you guys again next week. How was that? How, was that okay? Did I do it? Did I get the thing? Was that enough? Was that all right? I mentioned the things that were in the notes. I shortened up the outro a little bit. I just kind of tried to get some of them. Is that better? Is that okay? Acceptable? We consider, we consider that acceptable? <laughs>